Hi guys, it's your girl Precious and you're welcome to this episode of Precious Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you guys how to cook corn fufu. Some of you have said that you do not know how to make corn fufu. So this video is meant to show you guys how to make the perfect corn fufu with the right texture. It is so easy to make. Now for those of you who don't know, fufu is a popular stashi side in West Africa. It's made out of a grain or a stashi root it can be made out of cassava or also known as yucca root or it could be made out of yams it could make it could be made out of corn it's mostly used to eat vegetables or soups or maybe sauteed vegetables or maybe soups like okra and other kinds of soups so so good so we love our fufu so this video is all about how to make the perfect corn fufu let's go over the ingredients and then we can start cooking so to make corn fufu, all you need is corn flour and water. Right here I have four cups of corn flour. You could also use corn meal. And for those who don't live in Africa, sometimes you have to go with semolina, which is um, it's very similar to corn flour and you can, you know, you can cook it in a, the same way I'm going to be cooking today. So if you don't have corn flour, you could go with semolina. So four cups of corn flour and right here we have eight cups of water. So we are going to start. It's really really simple and I'm so excited to show you guys. The very first thing you want to do is to pour your water into a pot. I'm just turning on my heat to high. Now 8 cups of water here is similar to, um, it's equivalent to 2 liters of water. I'm going to pour this water. Not all, I'm just going to leave about 2 cups in here. Then I'm going to cover this and bring that to a boil. Now while that is happening, I'm just taking a little bowl here, I'm going to subtract about a cup of the corn flour in here. Then I'm going to mix it up with the water, the water I reserved, two cups of water I reserved. Don't pour all the water at once, you just pour about half a cup of water first, then you mix to be smooth, then you pour in all the water. Now if you pour all the water, if you pour in all the water at once, you're not going to be able to get it very small. So it's always a nice idea to pour in about half a cup of water, then you pour in the rest. Pour in a little bit more and just make sure that it's nice and smooth. This is going to form the base for our corn fufu. Back home in Africa, we are normally going to do, make form this base with what we call kende. In Cameroon actually with what we call kende which is the chaff of the corn more like the corn meal <laughs> yeah you just buy corn flour from the grocery store so subtract a part of that corn flour and use to form your base it still works perfectly now that is smooth and nice I'm going to add in not all but this quantity see so this is nice and smooth we are just going to wait for that water to boil then we can start making our fufu so our water is boiling i'm just going to open then i'm going to reduce the water now the water i'm taking out is still going to be part of the water that we'll use in cooking our fufu so you want to make sure you have hot water standby for adding it to the pot as needed so i'm going to reduce this until we just have water barely covering the bottom of the pot Just about a cup of water or so. Then, remember this guy here, our base we made. I'm just giving this a stir again just because it settles as it sits. So I'm just giving this a nice stir again. Then what you do is you want to start by just stirring with your wooden spoon. You start by stirring the water before you start pouring this in. You pour this in and you keep stirring. Now, if you don't stir this, it could easily curdle and form lumps and we don't want that. We want our fufu to be very smooth. When you stir this, you're going to discover that it's going to thicken up really, really quickly. It thickens up really quickly. So this is our base. This just helps to ensure that mixing the rest of the flour, you know, we, make, we can mix the rest of the flour without it forming lumps. So now that we've formed our base, we're going to put in the rest of the flour. Not all at once, just put in about half. Then you, you mix. As you keep adding the flour, it's going to get a little hard and you may need to hold the pot with one hand while you mix with the other hand. 
then I'm going to put in the rest and I'm just going to hold the pot with one hand while I mix with the other hand sometimes you could get someone to help you you know just to make sure everything is incorporated when everything is well incorporated I'm going to add in about half of the water that we reserved then just because this is so hard I'm going to give this another mix before we add in a little more water and we cover it to cook you want to make sure you mix really good each time just so that it doesn't form lumps and this is a little bit of a workout <laughs> Okay, now that it's all mixed up, that is looking good. I'm just going to clean my spoon here and add in the water again. About half of what is left. Just going to wipe this down a little bit. Make sure the wooden spoon is clean. I'm going to cover this and I'm going to let it cook for about five minutes. Then we'll stir again. Add in more water, let it cook for about five minutes, stir again, and our fufu is going to be ready. So our uh, fufu has cooked for five minutes. Now I'm just going to stir this again. Make sure it's well incorporated. And see how the texture you know that's the way corn fufu should be this Cameroonian corn fufu <laughs> look at that it's perfect texture in Cameroon they say the fufu draw fine <laughs> okay now that I've mixed everything I'm just going to add my last water everything and I'm going to cover this for another five minutes then we'll, we are going to stir again our fufu cooked again for another five minutes so right now I'm just going to turn this mix that together make sure that this and you know the easy way to go about making corn fufu is just to mix in circular motion if you're if it's too hard for you you know just just mix in circular motion just turn it round and round and like magic everything is going to come together look at that take it to the side so make sure it dissolves any at this point you only need about two or three minutes just to heat up in its mixed state and then believe it or not corn fufu is ready okay so I'm just going to put the heat on very very low then we are going to form this into lumps add some water sometimes the things we say in our local love language pigeon I really don't know how to say them in English because now I'm like we are going to form this into lungs but in pigeon we'll say mu we'll grab that fufu or mu we'll make uh, oh yeah we are going to mold it yeah, thank you so I just have a plastic wrap here placed in a bowl and I'm placed in a bowl like so then I'm going to use a um, plastic spoon that's flat back home will normally go with like a flat plastic saucer you know idea is just to have something flat that makes it easy for you to grab some of that fufu then I grab some I put that in dipping the spoon into water just helps that the just helps the fufu to come out easily from the spoon now that we have it all inside I'm just going to Get it together, then going to wrap it like so. Then 
let's do this one more time cut some plastic wrap now if you're not very comfortable with using plastic wrap you could just put this in a large bowl and cut it from there and serve or you could use um, warmed banana leaves or plantain leaves sometimes I use warm banana leaves and plantain leaves and it's just so good Last one. This one is a little smaller than its brothers and sisters. <laughs> okay, guys, our fufu cooled down for about five minutes. I cannot wait to dig in. It's very good to eat fufu when it's still a little hot, not like straight out of the fire hot, but when it waits for about five minutes, then that's fine. Just going to open this baby up and by the way right here I have some stewed spinach and some chicken you could have this with any vegetable or any soup you like so so good now I'm just going to reach out for some because you guys know mm. get some of that vegetable So good so good perfectly cooked the texture is perfect this is so good so easy to make my kids love it especially with okra soup so I hope this video showed you guys how to make the perfect corn fufu if you liked the video please give me a thumbs up if you've not subscribed to my channel yet be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos thank you guys so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video bye bye